Good morning and welcome to Enterpriser Morning right here on Enterprise Television. We are thrilled to start your day and week off with the news that matters around the world. Join us and our expert guests as we dive into some of the newspaper headlines that matter the most. And right after that also will be our main conversation for today. So while we do all of these for you, please do well to visit our website at www.enterprisertvnews.com and also like, comment and follow us on all our social media platforms at Enterprise TV 7 I am Henry. And I'm Choma Okor here. All right, um, our guests uh, today in the studios are no other but Cyril Abaku, a uh, journalist and a public affairs analyst, and uh, Olu Sheson Okwade, and also a public affairs analyst. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Eric. And welcome. Good morning, Choma. Welcome. Happy it's a new week. week. Yeah, a new week to start, and uh, we hope that we have it better than we, we've been having since the beginning of the month. Yeah, yes. most definitely. Good morning, Choma. Yeah, good morning. How are you today? I'm great. You looking look, splendid as always. Thank you. And you're right. not looking bad either. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, kick off our newspaper headlines today. And the first, what do we have? Jim? We're starting with the Guardian newspaper. And the, the top strip here, Dangote rejects monopoly claims, halts investment in steel industry. And moving on, let me have a big story here. Democrats shop for new candidates as Biden pulls out of re-election race. Details are on page six. All right, so why we talk about that since it's the, the most trendy uh, 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 story right here around the world. Um, I, I think it's important we dig right into that particular story. And we have it. The U.S. President Joe Biden has stepped down from the presidential election. And, and it says, in the statement on Sunday, Biden said in his in, it is his intention to seek re-election as president, but his decision to quit the race is in the interest of a Democratic Party and the country. Some Americans and top Democrats had raised concerns over Biden's health following his botched presidential debate with Donald Trump and Republican Party nominee. Uh, Mr. Chisson, I I'd love you to talk more about this particular matter. I know um, what happens to one country, knowing, of course, this is um, a global village. So what happens to a, a particular country you know, has a world uh, trickling down to other parts of the world, particularly knowing it's coming from the United States of America. Do you think this is a right step in the right direction, in, despite the fact that um, this man, Joe Biden, could be the best candidate to defeat Donald Trump in November? Yeah, I'll say yes to your question. Stating categorically that uh, when you look at this part of the world, we always claim that uh, 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 the life of every citizen is quite more important than the selfish interest of your personal gain. And I think that's the spirit that Joe Biden has actually declared. Yeah. He came out to say that uh, he's doing this, stepping down as the nominee uh, for the sake and the benefit of the party and that of the country at large. And uh, you, there are certain things you may not be able to know about an individual, but you know yourself much more better in terms of your capability of delivery and cap uh, in part of your deliverables, you know, of the promises you have given to the people. And when you consider that it's really not quite uh, something you can meet up with, uh, I think it's always good to just withdraw. It's just a big lesson because I doubt, and I, I can tell you for free, this cannot happen in Africa. I don't want to come to <laughs> my country. It cannot happen in Africa. You can see they, this is where selfless service plays major role. It's not about what you get. It's about, it's not about the ego. It's not about, it's about your service. And when you see that you cannot offer the service or it's going to be injurious or detrimental to your health, there's nothing stops you of stepping down. You move on and you'll be respected for it. So, Biden today has earned the art of severals mm. who are saying politics, you know, to be service and not for selfish interest as we have in Africa. Let me just say, I'm not specific about Nigeria now, but I'm telling you about Africa because this cut across African setting where we want to be 157 years old, still ready, even when our ends are not moving, we don't even mind to continue and allow other people just for the sake of that particular office and kudos to him uh, and i see a lot of people in america will look this and uh, give democrats uh, at least another chance to say these people are actually truthful they are democratic 
India and the show of leadership as displayed uh, by the current president who has done his bit at least to contribute to the growth of that country. Thank mm. you. Thank you, Sasha. Um, Sarah Marco, now the light is on Kamala Harris and a lot of Americans are looking and they're thinking, will she be the perfect match for Donald Trump? If you have to look at this politically and she's a Democrat and looking at the um, events that are unfolded with Donald Trump a few, few weeks back, and how some persons are feeling he's a match already. Do you think she'll be able to be the perfect match? Well, there's a lot uh, going on now that mm. gives one a sense of deja vu. Mm. The last time Donald Trump won the presidency, he became the fifth president of America. It was a woman in the future. Mm. Uh, what's her name now? Clinton. 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 Mm. Yes, it's Clinton. And as I don't know if you followed the story, but as of the, uh, as of the night, the night, the, the day after the, 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 the debate night, when they polled, Kamala Harris wasn't particularly doing better than Biden was doing as a consequence of his bad outcome. Kamala Harris was still trailing by even Biden himself in the polls. She was not a favorite to beat Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Because when you're coming against a Donald Trump, Donald Trump isn't just coming against you as an election candidate. Mm. He's coming against you as uh, with his verbal blizzards. Mm. He's, he's coming against you. With, and even in the case of Biden, I don't know what personal reasons Biden had. But I do know that what happened in Biden's case was essentially the triumph of the institution over the man. Mm. And let me explain this. Because Biden himself was not willing to quit the race. He had a bad debate night. They, they said it was a one-off. If, no, he, he, he had a bad debate. The party said it was a bad debate night. Mm. But we are asking, was this a one-off or has it been David this way? Because, or acting this way? Because before the debate happened, about two hundred before, 15 minutes before the debate, they had cleared out the schedule. He was, his last trip was 15 minutes before the debate, and he had a very light schedule. Mm. They knew that this man was already sort of, so they needed him to have all, to cut out the rest he could. And yet on the debate night, he still fought him. Now, post-debate, people said, this man has to be from the race. He said he wasn't going to be drop. On by Saturday, right, 30, 31 members of the of Congress, Democratic members of Congress, publicly said, Mr. President, you must withdraw. Oh. Then that was Saturday morning. The day after being Sunday, he now said he was withdrawn. So he's withdrawn because of pressure from his own party base. Oh. Okay, not necessarily because Exa he yes, to. yes. And again, if you if you observe, um, the initial statement he put up on Twitter was that. He was withdrawing. Minutes later, he came out and endorsed Kamala Harris. I can tell you for a fact that Kamala Harris does not, let me say, I mean, does not really enjoy that she's not the hair apparent. She, 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 she's not exactly a hairless apparent. Mm -hmm. People have talked about governor, about two or three governors. Mm -hmm. that are, because if she had, I mean, if, if you look at the time you had um, um, Reagan Bush, they were, they were running ne neck and neck. Then the party said, let's give it to Reagan. After Reagan, but it was clear that after Reagan, it was going to be Bush. You know what I mean? After uh, Bill Clinton, it was let's say it was going to be Al Gore. But God lost her for whatever reason. And, I mean, after the Florida count, uh, you know, the, the, the Florida recount, God lost out. Okay? But the fact is, Kamala Harris doesn't look like after Biden, we all know mm. it's going to be Kamala. Because after the bad debate night or bad debate that um, Biden had, Biden. the party didn't appear to rally around saying Biden quit, and if you quit, we know the best that's going to come next is Harris. If even Biden appears to have come to endorse Harris as some kind of second thought, I don't know how the party wants to rule, but I can tell you that they are up against a mighty fire on Donald Trump. Mm. Well, whether it wins or not is, 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 is immaterial. All right, so let's, um, of course, um, I have two questions for you, um, Shison, and if you can do that in less than 60 seconds, I would do appreciate that. And number one is... Um, um, Kamala Harris is an African American. She's colored, and um, surprisingly, um, Barack Obama is, is not um, routing for her, you know, and 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 so so it's actually very surprising. Um, do you think um, it it is a right step in the right direction, knowing that a larger population of the Democrats are actually asking for her to be part of uh, that particular contest? Then, secondly. In, in Africa, just like you, uh, you did say, we have described the democracy as being peculiar to where 
whatever it is, is um, you know, it, it is going to. We did a special right here on Rwanda where Paul Kagame said that democracy is about what the people say. So how do we, you know, uh, make up this, especially when it comes to human rights um, violations? in Africa and abuse? Yeah, uh, I would say to the first question, uh, this is my personal view. I too, uh, I'm not considering uh, Kamala Harris as a better option to take over from Biden. Uh, and uh, I still don't understand, you know, when I saw Biden coming up to say Harris is the next candidate as you step in there, I'm like, he's the man from Africa where you want your, uh, uh, <laughs> your assistant your in, in line to <laughs> do you have any things you are trying to protect because you know that's what i thought is always about in africa but for me uh, i don't consider uh kamala harris as a better option to stand trump you need someone who can give it you know one-on-one -on -one, uh with trump because like uh Cyril said trump will not only just uh, come and I consider guess, you <laughs> as as an opponent. He comes after you with everything. So Kamala is too, you know, gentle. Let me put it that way to handle Trump. So you need someone who can match him with, you know, feet by feet mm -hmm. and shoulder to shoulder on this issue of election. So I think the Democrats on this own, on their own, Biden has given his own words, we will be given a reconsideration because there are better people within even the Democrats that I feel can match up in terms of finance, in terms of words, in terms of intellectual that can do. Otherwise, you consider this uh, vote as uh, actually going to the Republican with Trump. And don't forget the last uh, scheme he put up, which is actually winning the sympathy of an average American mm -hmm. uh, with that uh, show. When it now comes to Africa that you ask, you see, quite interesting. You see, we cannot... Sorry, we, Kamala Harris is Jamaican Indian, actually. Mm -hmm. There's a music about thinking she's African. Mm -hmm. Her okay. own roots of Africa are actually Jamaica, which is like mm -hmm. second tier. Second tier. Yeah, of, uh, so she's Jamaican uh, Indian. Indian. Mm -hmm. But then the black is black. Black. Yeah, black. Yeah, black. Yeah, black. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's color. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's color. color. It's, it's color. 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 <laughs> yeah. So the, the, the truth of it is, uh, uh, it's not anyone's favorite. I must say that. Not even mine, because uh, if you look at the last woman, uh, Clinton, mm -hmm. uh, against Trump, Clinton was a better uh, option that can match mm -hmm. when you look at the antecedent. But for Kamala, it's not. So I, I feel the Democrats should reconsider their route, not following the path of uh, 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 Biden that is actually suggesting, because I would, he is not the one to actually raise that end mm -hmm. up, if mm -hmm. I must say, but he considered that as a better option. And I can tell you, if that's the route the Democrats are going, mm -hmm. Trump will not even campaign. He will definitely have a right Very on true. that particular Thank thing. Thank you, Shesson. Okay, um, briefly, Cyril, don't you think Biden is actually endorsing Kamala from the point of view where he has worked with her and he has seen there are some virtues that a lot of persons have not seen in her and this is an opportunity for her to show it to the world? <laughs> Well, Please, can you do that in I 30 am, seconds, if you may? I am a misogynist, <laughs> no, mm. a chauvinist. Mm. But what I can say is that I think the reason Biden is endorsing, I mean, Obama didn't initially endorse Biden for the presidency. I can mm. tell you from fact, yeah. you know, Joe, you don't have to do this. Mm. But Joe Biden insisted that he won. I think what Biden is doing is he is only attempting to give the party a rallying point. Instead of just resigning and then leaving them, leaving them that is, yeah, mm. it, so it will, it, 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 it will matter mm. but, but, it, but she will not become the matter mm. yeah, but, but she will matter it, 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 it's just for them to say okay can we take it or not but mm. it's not that to keep the party mm. keep the party focus but okay. whether they will really endorse pro, the American presidency is top business yes sir. Not, not because she's a woman but there are I mean what's her base what's her to, uh, it's a whole lot. If she's able to get faster, why not? Let her go for it. Well, uh, we'll keep uh, monitoring that particular story. And um, unfortunately, you know, <laughs> like um, the African continent, the um, America is still not, I think, in my opinion, built to have a woman if uh, as the leader it's of, so of the country. It's my opinion, yes. actually. <laughs> 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 All right, so straight up, let's move on to the Daily Independent today. The big story here says, um, Wound the leaking labor dumps a fight to reverse electricity tariff hike. Okay, moving on. Our refinery is getting repeated orders from abroad. That is coming from Dangote. Details are on page seven. And still on that particular uh, um, headline story, and um, the top strip that is, a stakeholder see banks are losing battle to tame fraud 
insider uh, abuser. Uh, so this is your key area, your area of uh, forte. And I'd love to ask you, the issue of insider abuse and uh, fraud in the banking system, the financial um, system, it has been a perennial um, issue. How do you think, with your understanding and your wealth of experience, how do you think we can better solve this problem so we can compete you know, with other uh, countries when it comes to the financial sector. Yeah, just quite simple. Are there punishment for those wrongdoings when you get out of that? Uh, I can tell you for free there are controls in the banking sector, which is tight knotted. But most of the time, when you even found the comp corporates, uh, what punishment do you give to them? And mm -hmm. that's a major problem that uh, has actually bedeviled us as a nation. Most of the time, you see people doing the wrong thing and uh, they are not punished for this. So those that are coming behind say it as an antecedent to follow. And that's why we've seen a lot of fraud. You've had a lot. These are just very few that are actually being brought to the open space, a lot internally. And when you get hold of them, you see that the person is out of the country, even when you have access to actually repatriate the person back and punish so that it serves as deterrent to other, it will not be done. So the major problem is not control. There are enough control mechanism that is being followed. You have the compliance officer, the internal control people who checks activity on daily basis. But most of the time, when some of these corporates are found uh, or, 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 or you get hold of them, you don't punish them to serve as deterrent. And that's just the major flaw I'm considering in the financial sector, which is really not healthy for our economy. And we just need to venture into it. Yeah, thank you, Cheso. Okay, will linking labor dumps fight to reverse electricity tariff hike? Um, Sir Labako, at this point, Nigerians are not asking, so they were just over the, they were just going out for the increase in the um, living wage, which you don't call it the minimum wage. Now they dump um, the fight to reverse electricity tariff hike. Who will speak for Nigerians at this point? <laughs> I, I wish I had the answer to that. Uh, you know, Nigerians are learning now to look away from the established um, centers of voices. Mm. NSAS was an example of that. Mm. The attempts to even organize protests in Marcos without relying on any of the major either political position or even uh, labor unions is telling. It is telling that Nigerians are waking up to try to draw power into their own hands and no longer waiting for. So I think that um, people are gradually getting more and more aware that they did a part, whether it's organized, whether, whether, whether they're unionized or not. Mm. So maybe that will become the next, uh, the next big thing that happens. Otherwise, to wait for the NLC and all these people is, is a, a, a very dangerous waste of time. Mm. Um, all, all right. So, uh, fine, uh, finally, we have less than uh, two minutes to call it a wrap on this particular segment. But I think it is very important we get to the, the last daily, the Daily Times uh, newspaper. Newspaper. And I would love to dwell on the top strip of the same paper, which says um, a court declines to stop Fubara from spending uh, rivers of funds. Uh, Serial about it. No, what uh, Governor Fubara has, has held it up for too long. Somebody said the other day that his political court father told him, and it's a school of thought that I sort of subscribe to, that power is sweeter when it is not used. Mm. Sometimes when people dare you and try to say to make you prove what you can do, if you don't do it, it doesn't change anything. So, 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 some of them will, will come to realize it maybe a little later or when they come into power themselves. For in Fubara's own case, I think that. He has shown enough magnanimity with the with his with his uh, traducers and opponents. He is governor of River State. I think that he is now in a place where he can assert himself. He should spend the money, he should do what they got the, the current president was governor of Lagos and created new government agents. Everyone's in form. I don't see why we even have the court said and they shouldn't give shouldn't give River State sake the election. Mm. He uh, organized own voter election in in, in, in two and, and all the elections. They should go to court and let's see who win. Why can't you organize your own? Why, why can't you tell CIA to do registration for of, of, of us in, in two weeks? Use that in, in, in Lagos, they are the legal committee that did, did the efforts for. At most, by law, they are not known by the concerns. Mm -hmm. but, the but the governor gives them allocation to spare. It doesn't know, it doesn't know, although it only not know, the court has reversed it. It doesn't matter. They say when you play cr cricket, you, you, you have your innings. What I, I, in, in my view, what happens in the university is up to Governor Singh. 
If he wants to follow a path of appeasement, he should not cry when the consequence comes. Mm -hmm. He wants to follow the path of belligerent, he should also run away mm -hmm. when, when the open gets up. So, All right, yes. Um, mm -hmm. A development only works, of course, when there's peace and uh, and um, and the transparency in in governance. With the court declining to stop, declines to stop Fubara from spending a rivers uh, of funds. Um, do you think that that would um, you know embolden Governor Fubara to do much more like? why he was voted into power in the first place. Just to buttress this thing in a few seconds, uh, what Siri is saying, I'm not saying the assertion uh, with uh, Governor Fubara, uh, is the governor of the state. Even if you have Godfather, there are certain things you, uh, you do and you don't, you don't mind the consequence because it's just for four years. If the, if the state is down today and there are no development in the next four years, it will be already accountable. We, some of us in our own small way, we've actually, you know, held position of leadership. And we consider that as at that period, even if it is for one year, for two years, you are the main man and your record will speak for you. So you will just be for the next four years fighting and say, peace is good. But there are times before you get the peace, you must go out hard to let them know, no, for now. I'm in charge. And that's what the godfather that is fighting him will not take. So when you look, when they look at your simplicity and you allow them to override it, it will come back to you and that will water. And that's what uh, Siri is trying to say. It's high time he assert his uh, a firm decision. When you look at what the current president did for Lagos, he knew where it was, except if he doesn't understand what he's doing, being pushed by people. But if it's something that you are convinced of doing, the highest to do is to go to court. And it will be pretty difficult for you to actually be removed like that, even when you don't have state of assembly, you know, that are illegally constituted, as we all know by the law. So it should assert its own and give the people of River State the governance that they all come together. Whether they said it's by a uh, back door, you, as we speak today, you are the governor of the state and you must assert your own to give development to the people because we are counting. You know, the same way we count for federal government and other state governor, they are going to tell you how many projects have you achieved in the last quarter, in the last six months, in the last one year. You will not come to tell them that there are distractions. We all know that those distractions will come up. Uh, uh, that, that speaks that you were not actually prepared for it. And four years will come and go. And that would might dent your future political career like you know some people when they move from governor they go to senate if they are not in senate they are minister if they are not in minister they are ambassador mm -hmm. do you want to end up to be a governor and end your career like that the answer is no so he must assert himself and give the people of river state the governance that they actually elect he has the people on his side mm -hmm. he's not just managing it the way i think he should do and he should he should, he should put the assertion that he must really do that okay thank oh, you yes sir. Thank so you. this is uh, just uh, about the time we have for uh, a segment on uh, this morning and of course we'd love to say thank you to Sylvia Nobanku for being part of it um thank you, thank you, so you very, very much, much sir, for me. being part of our show today yeah yes when we return Africa's wealthiest man offers to cede ownership of multi-billion dollar oil refinery to state-owned energy company. Do stay tuned. <laughs>